What's going on guys, King Shrats here back in another video on the channel and today we have an eating challenge uh, heavily requested. We are doing the Harold and Kumar eating challenge plus more. If you haven't seen the movie Harold and Kumar Go to the White Castle, it is a cult classic. I don't know what you've been doing but I'm not here to judge anybody. Basically the whole movie was about a quest for them to go to a White Castle and they got through all kinds of hijinks which I can't really get into because, well, some of the stuff is not PG-13. At the end of the movie, they finally got to White Castle and what they ordered were 30 sliders with four fries and four diet and cherry Cokes. Harold and one of the other got diet and one got cherry Cokes. So we did a little bit of a mashup of the two plus more. You can see there's some extra goodies in the background. I did not get 30 regular sliders. I got 35 sliders. Uh, I wanted to try some new stuff. First, we got Crave Case, which is 20. We have 10 American cheese sliders, no pickles. I do not like pickles and 10 jalapeno cheese slider. Sausage, egg, and cheese waffle. The new Sloppy Joe's six pack. They had a new Sloppy Joe's sandwich. I figure I'd try that. Smoky Joe with cheddar cheese. Smoky Joe with American cheese. Two Smoky Joe's with jalapeno cheese. Two regular Sloppy Joe's. We got two fish sliders with cheddar cheese. A surf and turf slider with American cheese. Order of french fries. Two orders of onion rings. I'm not the biggest fan of their fries, so I got onion rings. Uh, an order of mozzarella sticks, three diet cherry cokes. I mashed the two together, as well as one vanilla milkshake. An impossible slider, we got two of those with cheddar cheese, no pickles. Two chicken bacon and cheddar sandwiches, and we got two veggie sliders. I had to try them, right? With honey mustard. That is a lot of food to take down. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. We do these in real time, but I'm going to try not to talk that much because I do want to get through. There are a lot of sandwiches and dessert. They did make sure to give me all of the sauces. Um, thank you so much people at White Castle. They actually knew what I was doing, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and flex all that stuff, but you know, thank you very much for making sure I had all of the sauces. The total calories for this meal will be listed right about here. I have no idea how much, as well as with the dessert, which we will get through. White Castle, Harold, Kumar, thank you so much for your pop culture input. Here is the regular slider. You see how wonderful that looks. And here we go. Mm. Just a classic. Hmm. I should probably make like a bag. You forget ketchup comes on these. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you don't know, I'm probably one of the biggest fans you'll ever see. Oh, there's zesty sauce. I did a White Castle video a while back, and I couldn't get enough of it. It's got this, like, horseradish deliciousness. I don't even know what to tell you. Mm -mm -mm. That was such a good touch. The Diet Cherry Coke. I forgot which one got which. I think Harold got cherry coke and then kumar got diet coke if i'm not mistaken and they also squeezed a bunch of ketchup into their mouth towards the end i don't really like ketchup trying to get rid of all the og sliders Fun fact about Harold and Kumar going to the White Castle. The movie's set in New Jersey. If you don't know, I am born and raised. I'm a New Jersey native. And the White Castle that they went to was in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I don't remember exactly what town they came from, but it was somewhere near me. Obviously, for movie purposes, they did what they did. But I'm going to tell you this. They drove past about seven White Castles to get to the one in Cherry Hill. And I know, again, I'm not trying to miss the know-it-all. I know some people don't like my random facts, but it's all for the banter. Someone probably is going to say something. I'm going to switch the sauces. Let's do, let's try a honey mustard. 
fat free honey mustard. Wow, I didn't know they did that. Still doing the OGs, but let's get a honey mustard. I haven't tried the honey mustard once. That's pretty good. I know someone's gonna say something along the lines. Oh. Maybe that was the only 24 hour one. There is a 24 hour Alley Castle about two miles from my house. And they would have to have driven past where I live to get there. Again, it's for the movie. Like, I'm not saying, oh, you know, it's dumb. I mean, the movie would have been really short if they just said Harold and Kumar go to White Castle and they woke up and said, hey, let's get White Castle and they ate it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the movie's wild. I've actually never done this challenge. No, can't try that one yet. I need another OG. And I've always said I was going to do it. I've eaten like 20 sliders once or twice. I've never done 35, that's for sure. Tell me I'm there. Tell me I'm there. <laughs> no, can't have that one yet. I know there's a few more OGs in here. There's one. It's so weird, man. I've been eating fat-free ranch for so long that this is ranch. I actually haven't gotten used to the taste of regular ranch. Most ranch is buttermilk ranch, and then it's full fat. And I can actually taste the buttermilk. I don't really like it. It's weird, because I've been spending so much time eating like macro-friendly foods, you know, reduced fat, low-fat cheese, um, low-fat sour cream. There's two more sliders there. Put those in the front. How many sliders do you got? How many sliders have I eaten? I should have asked for like quadruple the zesty sauce. I do want to try this though. I found it from the store yesterday. Check it. Garlic smashed buffalo ranch. These are like four things that are just like in my food groups. I love garlic. I don't want to try this. Oh, wow. That's. I swear this never happens to me. All right, let's try this. Hmm. That's good, man. A lot of garlic, and the buffalo comes in. Not spicy, obviously, but I love condiments. Condiments are just coated. What else do I have here? I got another zesty. I should have got more zesty. Like, I know Zesty's my favorite. I don't know why I didn't do that. Mm-mm. You don't waste that. All right, two. How many sliders have I eaten? How many are left? Four, eight. Oh, counting with idiots. Oh, because these are like fat. Okay, I wonder why it looks so big. 4, 8, 12, 15, 19. Wow, 15 already. I don't know, waste this. Let's do barbecue. I don't want to waste the zesty. I'm not wasting the zesty. I'm very weird with that kind of stuff. Like, if I'm running out of something, I'll stop using it, which doesn't make sense because then you're just left with it towards the end. How's their barbecue? Mmm. Very sweet. Nice change up.
I know people are thinking R.I.P. to my toilet. White Castle doesn't mess me up like most people do. A lot of people I know, when they eat White Castle, they're done for like 48 hours. This is my last regular slider. this put you here put you here bring them in 5 10 15 16 I've eaten 20 sliders already wow maybe I should do competitive eating no they're gonna eat like I think they eat like 70 in this time I used to watch all that competitive eating stuff I never thought I'd be able to eat that much but I'm 95% sure that the one I watched, there used to be a dude who had like mask, not mask, like makeup on his face. Forget his name, but they did it like an MTV True Life on him. Onion rings from White Castle, super good. And I believe he ate like 70 crystal sliders in like a few minutes, something like that. I don't know how these people eat that fast. Like, I've got a pretty good pace right now. <sighs> Excuse me. I cannot eat that fast. Alright. I'm gonna try new stuff. I don't know which one this is. Okay, I think this is a Sloppy Joe with American cheese. So, they did a Sloppy Joe. I like Sloppy Joes. Can't say anything else. It's got a little zing to it. It's not bad. It's not better than the sliders. Definitely has that sloppy Joe sauce vibe to it. Pretty dope. Hmm. I know there's one. I don't know. I gotta find it. There's one that comes with like. I'll give you an inside shot. See that? Extra sloppy. They definitely scoop this out with an ice cream scoop. They're definitely um like meatier than the White Castle regular slider. There's a lot more. It would have been a lot easier and quicker if I did just regular sliders all the way through because they're so small. You know, I got one in here, and we'll just get into it. Oh man, I try. I got the fish. See how thick the fish is. I'm not sure why I got the fish. Probably because I'm an idiot. I also don't like tartar sauce. They gave me a bunch of tartar sauce. It's like in my uh, White Castle uh, graveyard over there. Yeah, you can't just eat this. Oh, it's tough. I should eat this first. All right, new game plan. Get rid of the fish now. Because when that fish gets cold, there's two of them. So there's one more hiding in here. That's gonna be a tough eat. Ooh. My dad single handedly kept places in business that served their like filet o fish. Uh, this. There's a place near me called Friendly's. There's not that many left. But I think the one by me is still open. He always, he always used to get a sandwich called the Fishamajig. Which is like the same thing. You know, like a fish patty? Oh, I'm sorry about that. That definitely wasn't attractive. Now I see why you guys are always telling me not to eat my mouthful. Oh, there's the fish patty. We gotta get these out of the way. This is not gonna sit right.
fish and honey mustard, fish and ketchup. <coughs> Excuse me. Not sure what the heck to put on. Excuse me again. Mm. Gotta put something on, I think. Alright, let's go with the well, it's honey mustard. So they have honey mustard in packets and honey mustard in the sauce. What do you call these things? Sauce container? Condiment thing? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a weird color of honey mustard, isn't it? It doesn't matter. Okay. Fish and honey mustard. Somebody out there is going, ew. I agree. That was not a good idea. Fish and ketchup? Fish and garlic buffalo ranch. Alright, let's try this. Nothing works with this fish. The only thing that probably works is mayo. And I don't have any mayo. I don't really eat mayonnaise. We got it down. We move. Oh, that's a milkshake. This thing's gonna be hell. Does that look good to you? Alright, sure. Can you drink this? So. No, you cannot. It's very, like, foamy. Ugh. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing now? I know that there is a Sloppy Joe that has fried onions on the top, and I can't find it, unless they didn't give me one with fried onions. This one has... I don't know, it looks like white cheese? White? What kind of cheese is this? Pepper Jack? Jalapeno cheese. Yes. No. I don't care. I'll tell you what, the Sloppy Joes are not bad at all. I would definitely recommend you try them if you're a Sloppy Joe person. They're really not bad. But these sandwiches are all like super fat. I just drink the most. <laughs> yeah, I did. Also, if you think I'm crazy and looking off to the side, I actually have a football game on. Um, it's the SEC Championship. I'm, believe it or not, I grew up a Florida Gators fan. And I know it sounds weird. Obviously, I didn't go to the University of Florida. Um, I played ball somewhere else. But, okay, is there onion rings? Are especially rubbery today. And I'm not sure why. They're rubbery. Very weird. You know what I didn't? Okay. Anyway, when I was a kid, um, I was a huge fan. I don't know how many people like watch like football in the 90s or any of you were born, but if you know football, um, the all time leading rusher, his name is Emmett Smith. And I was actually, even though I am a Giants fan, I, I was a huge Emmett Smith fan as a kid. And when I started, you know, because you start reading about your, your idols, quote-unquote, because I was a running back growing up. I wore number 22. Um, I loved him. You know, he's a great player. Clearly. But. When I read about he went to the University of Florida, that's who I started to watch on TV as a kid. Um, so I just, I always rooted for them. I, I did want to go to the University of Florida when I was younger. Uh, when you get older, you start making decisions. Now, I'm not saying I was good enough to play at Florida because I probably wasn't. The world may never know, but you don't make that decision based off the school you want to go to. You have to find the right fit. Um, but I still root for them in that sense. 
So, and they're playing in a championship game. The game's on, like, right there. On my TV. It's actually an iPad, whatever. <coughs> it's funny, because, you know, my whole family are Giants fans. What in the hell? Oh, this is the impossible. All right, we got ourselves an impossible... Uh, slider, which I did have already. Um, it's not going to be vegan because it has cheese on it. They do have dairy-free cheese, uh, vegan cheese, but I don't think I got it. So I'm not going to say it's complete vegan. <clears throat> but I actually have a vegetarian friend that told me um, today. He said, you have to get the, the Impossible Slider uh, with extra pickles. And I said, how the hell long have we been friends? I, I don't like pickles at all. All right, I think it's time to bust out. Why are their onion rings so rubbery? Look at this. They're like weird today. They're usually really good. Still gonna eat them, but yeah, seriously, it's just, I'm chewing sure rubber. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sandwiches left. So we put down twenty. Can't do math. <laughs> Eight sandwiches. <laughs> Twenty-seven sandwiches. Am I is there anybody else out there like that? Like when you try to add things? And I'll say this again because I said it before about the impossible. It puts you in the mind of meat. The thing that they never nail is the impossible. Um is the texture. It's very hard to duplicate the texture of meat. It does have a meat taste to it, um, and a consistency. It's just off. It's just not the same. The thing that I did say about the Impossible Sausage Speech, if you watch that um, review that I did, I couldn't really tell on there as much because they were smaller and it was hidden on a pizza. And the spices were there to give it that sausage taste. And I still do. Somebody actually did yell at me for that because they said, Stop lying. I don't lie. Not like Pizza Hut paid me to eat their pizza. Alabama just scored again. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Florida's probably gonna lose, but I'm not one of those sports fans who gets mad when their team loses. That's just not me. I don't know. Where's the fr the freaking onions, bro? They're supposed to be one that has like those. You know the things they put on green bean casserole? What are in here? Well, I'm down to two. All right, I got an American cheese, and I think jalapeno cheese. I think that's what I said in the beginning. Once you eat this many sliders, they're all just a blur. Those chicken ones are not going to be easy to eat. Cherry Coke was a good play. That sound was me trying to not get ice cubes in my mouth. Which I just failed at. Oh no! Ugh. Okay, we're gonna have to just abort and eat this now. I completely forgot about this monstrosity. <clears throat> this is a surf and turf, which literally is a slider you can see it it's a slider right here so if i took this off this is just a slider like right here and then they put a fish patty and then another slider bun and one more piece of meat on the bottom it's like a white castle big mac i guess i don't know but i have to pay homage to my dad again um, if he's watching, he does watch um, you, man. And I know you put freaking fish on everything you can possibly get. And he used to always get the surf and turf too when we did White Castle, which wasn't often because, well, I was the only person in my family with a 
iron stomach that didn't. I don't know why, but this just doesn't taste. The fish is just, I will say this, the White Castle was very packed. Um, they were just rolling out. There were probably eight to nine cars in the drive-thru with me, which is probably why these onion rings are not really bringing in the points. I love their onion rings, and I don't like these today. So, we are on the struggle bus. Whew. And I accidentally, I wanted to get uh, 10 of those sliders to have an egg on them, and I forgot. The fish is, it's not very good. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, when you hear me make that sound, it's not a good sign. That means I don't like it. And I'm forcing myself to eat it. But the zesty sauce will save me. <laughs> Still a little... A little perturbed that they, they forgot my mac and cheese uh, nibblies, nibbles, nibblers, nib nibblers. They're called nibblers. I'm one of the reasons why I wanted to try it. Why I was there today. But as I say, we move. Also, we're getting close to that time. I don't know what it is about my camera, but it will only record for 30 minutes in a clip. Right now, on my camera, it's about 27 minutes. So when it gets to 30, I'm going to have to change, or should I say restart the camera? It's just press play, so if you see me, I'll, I'll leave it in there. Um, and also, <laughs> I invested, I got extra batteries here, so the battery won't. Last time it almost, uh, perished so those are my updates i'm a little that i don't know I, I wanted to try the fried onions on the top and they didn't have them but you know we move How are we doing? Oh, good. Good. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. 26 minutes. <laughs> the timer wasn't on. It was on this whole time on my phone. Um, I forgot to put that thing where it stays open forever. How are we doing here? 21 times still. Okay. Where are we at? Okay. That was slider number 30. So... This is 31. This is the chicken, looks like a tongue. <laughs> chicken, I thought I got bacon. But I got bacon, there's no bacon on here? Yeah, this is not, excuse me. That's not bringing in the points. Darn. Yes, I said darn. <coughs> if I can remember, oh no, don't squirt on me. If I can remember, I'm trying not to curse. I made sure I got the chicken patty because there's also a chicken ring sandwich. Not the same thing. Chicken's a little dry. <laughs> dry. We're getting to that point where it is going to restart 
got about 40 seconds. Yeah, it's a 29 20. Let's get a let's get a marinara one in before this thing hits the restart. Cold cheese. <sighs> Who's ready? Who's ready? Cold cheese. Yep. Cold cheese. We gotta restart. <clears throat> okay. Thought I got five. Jeez. I am not looking forward to eating these onion rings at all. So you know what you do? Nah. Let's do this. I did get a breakfast slider. This is the Belgian waffle. Um, it was a bacon, bacon, egg, and cheese on a Belgian waffle, which I swore I got the sausage, egg, and cheese, but. And there's no bacon on my chicken sandwich, <laughs> whatever. These are actually addictive. They're very good. Mm. Very good. Need syrup to make it goaded. But I have had this before. I'm sorry, I'm watching the game. <laughs> it's 28-17. Uh, it's almost halftime. Alabama's about to lose again. Try to see about the score again. I don't know what they did to these onion rings, but they are trash right now. Okay, the moment I have not been waiting. Oh no. This is a veggie patty. I actually like veggie burgers. Um, I've had a lot of different ones, like the Boca. I need just some honey mustard. I thought I asked for honey mustard on here. I don't want to be that guy, we move. All I sound like right now is I'm complaining about all my orders, and I'm not complaining at all. They did a great job. Veggie burger. Let's see. Okay. I don't know who doesn't like veggies, but you can't tell me they didn't use actual veggies in here. There's a whole pea. It's funny, because the patty has a different taste to it, but I think I'm just at the point where everything tastes the same. If you see this left elbow start doing this, it's because I'm holding up my gut. Uh, fun fact. Also, not a lie. So. This is why people who do eating challenges tend to fast forward because it's really not appealing to watch somebody shove food down their throat. But what I think I'm going to do, there were some of you in the last video that did say that, you know, they thought it went too long. And I agree. It was like an hour. Uh, what I'm going to do is any part where I'm just chewing and not talking, I'm just going to speed up a little bit. I'm not going to change the sound or anything, but just to make the video flow more uh, I just think it's really weird to just have, we're not doing like ASMR. I don't want to just be sitting here like, you know, I just, for my own sanity, it'll be a little more editing for me, but 
I would rather. I'll still keep everything where I talk in it. I used to be able to drink a lot of liquid. I used to have a big gap in my teeth when I was a kid. I never wore braces. I wanted braces and it closed up on its own. I used to be able to drink water through the gap so I never had the ice. But I can't do that anymore. I don't know. I never had to have braces either. It's a very weird thing. <laughs> you gotta see, there's a bag over here and there's just a pile of these. <laughs> it's just like a ridiculous amount. We've got one sandwich left. Um, still all the fries, because I, I told you this before, I really don't like their fries. Um, I just feel like they're just very like, they don't taste like anything. They're not seasoned, um, they're just crinkle cut, and they're like, they get soggy very fast, so I never really liked their fries. I always got their onion rings. Their onion rings today have actually been a massive L, which is weird because I usually really, really like their onion rings, but not today. Arya Stark. It's a Game of Thrones reference. You watch Game of Thrones? Anybody? What a great show. Yes, the ending, the last season, was really anticlimactic. Still a good show, though. Love the show. I've watched it three times, actually. What I tend to do is I watch something. I watched it in real time as it went on. And then... I think Alabama just swore again. They did. No, oh, no. Well, that's done. We move. 35-17 at the half. Yeesh. So I've seen Game of Thrones three times. I watched it in real time the first time. You know, obviously as it went, uh, I watched it again uh, last year. You know, just like your HBO subscription. And then I watched... Uh, I watched it again this year because I just had nothing to do during quarantine. So I, I watched like everything over again. Um, Friday Night Lights is another one I just watched again. It's probably the best show that no one's ever seen. This is the last sandwich, the chicken sandwich. I've got a couple of onion rings on here. Then we've got an order of onion rings, an order of fries, some drinks, and dessert. Um, am I full? No. No. <laughs> no. I do feel it, yeah. It's a weird thing, when you eat as much as this, like, it takes a lot, obviously, to get you full, but I, I'm just not looking forward to those fries. Fries. I might have to do the whole uh, competitive eater thing and just like ball them up and eat them because I really don't like their fries at all. Like, at all. So, let's just do that.
Okay. Okay. No, no. I've got one, two, three, four, five rubber rings. Because they're no longer onion rings. And then we do dessert. Who's excited? Not me. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's why you gotta speed it up. That's why I speed it up, bro. What kind of sauce are we do we have zesty sauce left? That's what we'll do. They are genuinely like pure rubber. Like, they're usually so good. I don't know what happened. Okay. How long has this been off? <sighs> 45 minutes and 42 seconds. I mean, counting when I had to... That's not bad. It really took that long? Whatever. I guess I probably should, you know what? You're not gonna see any of this. I'm speeding all this up. I don't wanna be two hour videos. Okay. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna make ourselves a nice bowl. Um, I don't think I'm gonna eat all of this dessert. I, I actually plan to use this in a different video. I was gonna go to Krispy Kreme today, um, but we had an issue where the line at White Castle was so long that Krispy Kreme actually closed because I was there for like 45 minutes in the line. No joke. Um, the lobby was closed, so it was just the line was ridiculous, and the White Castle is... You know, they did a good job, but everybody seems to be getting Crave cases and Giant cases, and I guess it's just that time of year. So, doesn't matter. We move. So we're going to do something else instead, nice and special. We're going to make ourselves a wonderful bowl of Liddy. Of course, you got to have the Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs are the goat of cereals. That and Fruity Pebbles and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I know, it's super basic, but there's a reason people like them. In my opinion. All right, so we're going to get ourselves a nice bowl. That's about, i will say about three quarters of the bowl. The, of the, of the, wow, the bowl. Three quarters of, okay? Teddy Grahams. Yes, Teddy Grahams. I put Teddy Grahams in milk and eat them like cereal. Always have Teddy Grahams. <sighs> Never tried it. I'm telling you, it'll change your life. Okay, I saw these in Stop and Shop yesterday. All right, my man, whoever Jimmy is, uh, Jimmy makes cookies. Jimmy, Jimmy's cookies. Um, they look delicious, and they're little mini cookies, and I'm just a sucker for, like, you know, mini stuff like that, so we're going to... Now, we're not measuring, but I'm not an ignoramus, uh, which means that it's a lot of calories. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Almond milk with less sugar. Um, I, they used to have, like, unsweetened, which was 25 calories. This one says less sugar, and it has 30 calories, and I thought that was really dope, so I'm going to try that. And I'm telling you, you have got to try Teddy Grahams in milk. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I am telling you. I am telling you, I am telling you. Reese's Puffs, the goat. I still have ranch in over here. I'm drop that, good, I'm losing my mind. I just want to sauces, no more sauces. We don't want sauces anymore. Okay. I haven't had Reese's Puffs in like a year. What the heck am I doing? Ooh, Jimmy's cookie. All right, Jimmy. They're just soft, delicious chocolate chip cookies.
You got a lot of teddy grams soak. Very important. I forgot how good Reese's Puffs are. Holy crap. Mmm. The roof of my mouth is absolutely going to be cooked after this. Also, this is very important. I know I just yelled and I'm sorry. Someone the other day told me they put their milk in the cereal. You understand? I'm going to rephrase that. They put their milk before their cereal. They pour the milk, and then they pour the cereal. What kind of a sick person are you? Who else out there? Please let me know in the comments. Do you put your milk before your cereal? And I'm not a judgmental person. When I say things like that, please don't be offended. It's more because I want to understand. I always, I'm not, the way I do things isn't necessarily the best. It just works for me. So... When I say, you know, last video I said something along the lines of like, why do people cover their mouths when they chew? I'm not saying that throw shade. I'm saying it because I'm genuinely curious. I just want to understand where other people are coming from because just because we share a different point of view doesn't mean that I don't like you. I'm not that kind of person. I'm coming from a position where I'm trying to understand. Why would you put your milk, and you got floating cereal, it's no good. And look for me to get the perfect amount of milk. See, I don't like milk floating all the way up the top. See how the milk right there is in the bottom? And then I can kind of just... That's how I roll. Everybody works differently. So, I'm just curious. Who told you to do that? And why? That's all. You know, some things. Like uh, peanut butter and jelly. A lot of people love grape jelly. I prefer strawberry. You're not wrong for eating grape jelly. Strawberry's better than me. I don't know why. We just need to accept people. Okay? Nobody's hurting anybody by how they eat their cereal. The only thing that's hurt right now is the actual roof of my mouth. It's just right. I don't even have one anymore. Come. I'm not gonna lie, my mouth is getting tired. I'm not full, my mouth's getting tired. Thirty-five sliders later, and all the sides, I'm not full. But I have to have dessert with my food. When you eat all that salty, you need a sweet. Reese's Puff probably wasn't the best choice. Because the roof of my mouth now is obliterated. Wow. Also a question. Which one of you guys like soggy cereal? It's a strange one. And again, if you do, just tell me, you know, 
Let's talk about it. I just like to know why. What makes soggy cereal? Is it you have sensitive teeth? Um, is it because the roof of your mouth feels like mine when you eat regular cereal? Excuse me. This is where the food challenge just got real and became a challenge because my mouth is like, it oh, hurts. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? Oh, it's hard as too. <laughs> now I want my cereal to get soggy. We're gonna do it. Oh, come on. Man. My mouth is so tired, man. It hurts. It's almost there. This is where you cue epic music from Rocky or something. Oh. Mm. My stomach is back here right now. Oh man, that was something. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I 
35 sliders besides the big bowl. Ugh. Uh, milkshake. Uh, this foam. I don't want to pour it on. Look, there's like some foam and stuff, but it's it's empty. Uh, the milkshakes and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm really full now. That cereal put me over the edge of my mouth. It's just destroyed. Like, I don't feel it raw. But that was a lot of food. Uh, I'm gonna go take a nap. I actually have a Star Wars shirt on today. Don't even realize it. That's Star. Uh, who watched the Mandalorian? I'm not gonna have any spoilers, but it was uh, awesome. Anyway, that'll be the end of the video. Uh, if you like what you saw, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I feel like crap. I'm gonna go to sleep. But we'll be back tomorrow. More content. <laughs> the hand signs. They made it to YouTube. I can't reach.